Hello and welcome to Kafka tutorial at Learning Journal. I hope you are watching this playlist from the beginning. We have covered most of the basics of Kafka and explored Kafka producers in detail. Now it is time to explore consumer side of it. In this session, I'll talk about consumer groups. I have already covered consumer group, so I assume that you have a fair idea about it. But before we start creating different types of consumers, it is necessary to understand some nuances of a consumer group. So let's start. If your producers are pushing data to the topic at a moderate speed, a single consumer may be enough to read and process that data. However, if you want to scale up your system and read data from Kafka in parallel, you need multiple consumers reading your topic in parallel. Many applications may have a clear need for multiple producers pushing data to a topic at one end and multiple consumers reading and processing data on the other end. There is no complexity at the producer side. It is as simple as executing another instance of producer. There is no coordination or sharing of information is needed among producers. But on the consumer side, we have various considerations. Let us discuss those factors and understand the solution that Kafka provides. The first question is, how do we read messages in parallel? When I talk about parallel reading, I am speaking about one single application consuming data in parallel. It is not about multiple applications reading same Kafka topic in parallel. So the question is, how to implement parallel reads in a single application? I think you already know the answer. We can do that by creating a group and starting many consumers in the same group. That part is simple. We will see some code examples for creating multiple consumers in the same group, but that part is straightforward. However, there is a concern about duplicate records. If we have multiple consumers reading data in parallel from the same topic, don't you think that all of them can read the same message? The answer is no. Kafka provides a very simple solution for this problem. Only one consumer owns a partition at any point in time. What does that mean? Let's take an example to understand this. We have one topic and there are four partitions. So if we have only one consumer in the group, it reads from all four partitions. If you have two, each of them reads two partitions. If you have three, the arrangement may be something like this. So, the fundamental concept is that the consumers do not share a partition. There is no way we can read the same message more than once. However, this solution also brings a limitation. The number of partitions on a topic is the upper limit of consumers you can have in a group. So, in our example, if you have more than four consumers, one of them reads nothing. Kafka won't complain that you have four partitions but you are starting five consumers. Simply, the fifth consumer will have nothing to read. Ok, so far so good. I have four partitions and four consumer processes. All reading in parallel and no one is reading each other's data. So, no duplicate reads. However, I have another doubt. How do the consumers enter and exit into a group. This question is obvious, isn't it? You started with one consumer and wanted to scale up. So you added one more. Now you have two of them. Which partitions should this new consumer read? Who should pull some partitions from the first consumer and assign them to the second consumer? Right? Somebody should be there to manage this. This reassignment problem doesn't end there. Assume you have four consumers, but one crashed. So you are left with three. What should happen to this partition? Who should read it now? After some time, the collapsed consumer has recovered. So again you have four of them. 
so a reassignment will be required once again in a real distributed application consumers keep joining and exiting we don't have control over that so my question is how kafka handles it when a consumer joins a group how is a partition assigned to it moreover what happens to the partition when a consumer leaves the group who manages all of this the answer is simple a group coordinator oversees all of this so one of the kafka broker gets elected as a group coordinator when a consumer wants to join a group it sends a request to the coordinator the first coordinator to participate in a group becomes a leader all other consumers joining later becomes the members of the group so we have two actors a coordinator and a leader the coordinator is responsible for managing a list of group members so every time a new consumer joins the group or an existing member leaves the group the coordinator modifies the list on the event of membership change the coordinator realizes that it is time to rebalance the partition assignment because you may have new members and you need to assign it some partitions or a member left and you need to reassign its partitions to someone else so every time the list is modified the coordinator initiates a rebalance activity the leader is responsible for executing rebalance activity the leader will take a list of current members assign partitions to them and send it back to the coordinator the coordinator then communicates back to the members about their new partitions the important thing to note here is during the rebalance activity none of the consumers are allowed to read any message okay let's summarize it quickly consumer groups are used to read and process data in parallel to protect duplicate reads in a group kafka does not allow more than one consumers to read data from a single partition at the same time a group coordinator maintains a list of active consumers every time the list of active consumers is modified the coordinator orders a rebalance activity to the leader the group leader executes a rebalance activity rebalance activity is nothing but assigning partitions to individual consumers that's it for this session thank you for watching learning journal if you like it please subscribe and get notified for new videos keep learning and keep growing